Hello, my name is Dr. Corey Gilbert, and I wanted to share a story of, of something that um, I experienced a few years ago. I was attending this church, and I went to this men's group. I'm sitting around this table with a bunch of men. They had no idea what I did for a living, um, and they're sharing about their marriage. What was interesting was every single one of them spoke about their wife as if they were married to some foreign alien. It was weird. It was like they couldn't connect with her. They didn't understand this weird species yet they had sex with her. And it was like, how can there be such a disconnect between life and living and doing life together? And then the sexual part is something that's just kind of like, well, to animals. And I'm like, this is weird. This is gross. How can there be a reviving of a relationship? Well, uh, let me tell you, it's actually in, there's this gap between him and her, husband and wife. We don't understand each other. We don't know each other. So what's my lifetime job? It's to bridge that gap. It's to better understand my wife, for her to better understand me, and to grow in that for a lifetime. If I base any of that on my feelings, things fall apart. If I base anything on attraction alone, it falls apart. Those are pieces, but they're not, they're not the whole so being able to remember that my life journey is to learn every day as we go to work and we do life and kids and all the things, how do I better serve you today, better love you today, help make your day better? Um, there are things that we can, you know, changes we can make in the way we spend our money, the way we spend our time, our priorities. And there are times we need just to get away. Vacations, like we tend to talk about them, that's not the answer where we actually go somewhere else and you're just stressed somewhere else because we're too busy. Um, we need to stop. We need to slow down. We need to reset. All of us have patterns that we're in, and we're actually kind of in a rat race at times, just doing the, some of the same things over and over. And sometimes we just need to stop. The irony is the, the key word that is in God's word that we don't follow is the Sabbath. Now, there's a lot of opinions and, and interpretations and ideas of what that looks like, but you need to slow down and stop. You need to be able to look back on the week that you survived and thank God that you survived it. Thank God for your income. Thank God for your family, for your kids, and even for those hard times that are shaping you and teaching you. Um, those, those are, that's critical. And then you're able to, to then look forward to what's to come but we need to rest. We need to stop. That's going to look different for everyone. And I can talk a lot more about that in the future, but um, I want you to be able to invest in your family in a way that changes generations. And it starts with you and your priorities as a couple. So bless you. May you build a healthy marriage. It's worth it. Hey there, if this was helpful for you, um, I would love to actually have more conversations with you. Um, one of the ways we can do that is my Facebook group. So facebook.com slash group slash The Healthy Marriage. Um, jump on in there and actually engage in conversations. We'd love to find out where you're struggling, um, some victories you've had, and how we can actually support one another to build a healthy marriage, an amazing family, and impact our family tree. So God bless you. My name is Dr. Corey Gilbert. Honor to serve.